Hello everyone, this is Darren. Welcome to day 42 of my weight loss journey. As always, I am so excited you're here watching these videos. Okay, so today's topic, calories in versus calories out. And I know some of you may be saying, oh, here goes Darren again, talking about calories consumed and calories burned. Now, I mention this topic in a lot of my videos, but it needs its own video because this is really the key to weight loss. It's the amount of calories you consume versus how many calories you burn. Now, I've talked about the importance of getting some type of a smartwatch. If you haven't done it, please get one. There's a lot of different watches and a lot of different budgets. You can find one that works best for you. Some are more on keeping track of the activity levels or it could be the steps or the amount of calories burned. I mean, they cover most of the same things. It just depends on what your preference is. Most of them can be hooked up to your smartphone and you can track things however you want. This freedom of tracking what you eat is huge in weight loss. And I have some family members and people close to me saying, isn't that a pain in the neck, keeping track of every single calorie that you eat? And it really isn't. I mean, I look at what I'm eating, check out the package, find out what a serving is. I have my little measuring device in the kitchen, I just use it, and it's pretty simple that way. So, calories in versus calories out. What I do is I actually don't sleep with my smartwatch. I know sometimes it's good to keep track of things at night, but for me, it's kind of, I don't like rolling around on a watch. It's kind of awkward when I sleep at night. And so for me, I take off my watch, it's right next to my bed, and I put it on first thing in the morning. I don't wanna miss a step. When I'm tracking calories, I wanna make sure from the minute I wake up to the minute I lie down, that watch is on my wrist. And as I do this, I can keep track of what I'm doing. Now, I've recently upped the amount of activity. I told you originally my goal was to get 10,000 steps a day. Now I've upped that to 12 and a half thousand steps. I'm trying to do more activity. So in the evening, if I haven't got all my steps, me and my wife will go on a walk or something like that. So keep track of the calories. Find out, once again, are you using a notebook? Are you using something on your phone? Are you using an electronic device to keep track? Keep track of all the calories that you consume. Write them down. From the smallest amount, and I talked about this in a previous video, from a, a wintergreen mint to a sandwich, whatever it happens to be. As you write those things down, that keeps you track during the day. With your watch, you're keeping track of the calories burned. So yesterday, I actually consumed a little fewer calories than normal. I was a little guilty about my road trip. I, I ate more than I should last week. So I had a little over 1,500 calories yesterday, but I burned 3,500 calories or something close to that yesterday. And so I actually probably burned close to a half a pound yesterday. And so once again, calories in versus calories out. Calories consumed versus calories burned. That is your key to weight loss, and that will give you that stress-free eating that we talked about. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I appreciate what you're doing, and uh, I appreciate your support. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, everyone.